Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we're going to talk about uh, the topic which is aperture and shutter speed. Okay, so aperture and shutter speed. Okay, as I provided to you my PowerPoint, so then you can refer to that. Okay, now we want to know what is aperture and shutter speed. Okay, first of all, aperture. Okay? Aperture is located in the lens. Okay. So this is an aperture ring. Okay. As you can see, this one is having numbers. So this numbers is an aperture ring. Aperture ring which contains the numbering of aperture. Okay. So this is the ring that will provide you with an aperture. Aperture, as it is said on my slide, an opening. Okay, an opening. So this term is used interchangeably with f-stop to denote a camera's diagram opening okay so aperture we must also refer to the uh, aperture control of the amount of lights okay so the aperture controls the amounts of light this one is controlling the amounts of light okay whether you want to make the light uh, more entering the camera or you want to make it less okay so well, how do you know which is more and less okay if we are referring to 1.8 which is big okay if we are referring to 2.8 is also big 3.5 is also big the smaller one is like 22 16 or sometimes you have 32 so that one is an aperture which is small okay smaller opening okay bigger opening and smaller opening so if you refer to the lens okay it will control your aperture okay, it is an opening okay of the light to enter inside your lens okay so the light will enter inside the lens and provide you with the image okay so the wider the aperture the greater amount of light entering the camera okay so what is a shutter speed shutter speed is in the body of the camera Okay, it is inside the body of a camera for instance if now I'm using 500 shutter speed okay so the reading is here okay so this is shutter okay shutter like shut the door okay shutter so this is shutter speed okay so if I make it into a smaller number like let's say one so it become very delayed okay the time will be delayed and then it click okay shoot click okay so this one if i put it into 2000 it will become faster see the difference now is delayed now is faster so the mechanism of the shutter speed is inside the body okay so this one is for the aperture and this one is for the shutter so whenever we combine this okay whenever we combine uh, these two okay whenever you put this lens and then you combine it you become the camera itself okay one control the amount of light and the body will control the amount of time okay so shutter speed controls the amount of time okay so the slower the shutter speed the greater of the amount of light reaching through the body okay so this one controls the amount of light this one control the time okay so you must remember any camera okay any dslr or any uh, digital camera lens is for controlling the light and the body is controlling the time okay so same as this interchangeable lens this one will control the light and this the body will control the time Okay, what I have here 
is another example of how to measure the light. This one is called as a light meter. Okay, so the light meter basically will con will uh, provide you the information of light. Okay, what kind of uh, what sorry a uh, what numbering of the aperture to be used in your camera. Okay, for instance, if I turn this on now, okay. So if if I put it, uh, okay. So the ISO now is two fifty. So it will provide. I will push this button. Okay, it will provide for me what aperture that I will be used for the camera. So this is how we use the light meter. Normally in the class, okay, in the physical class, I will teach you how to do this. Okay. So ever since that I'm here, that. Uh, we cannot meet in the studio or in my room so this is what this is I'll be showing you just only uh, these tools that I've been using okay so you must remember the aperture control the light okay the shutter speed will control the time okay that's how you understand uh, aperture and shutter okay aperture and shutter okay this one is a light meter to measure the aperture okay what aperture that you will be using uh, to gain the information about which numbering that you want to use for your shutter speed okay so shutter speed uh, and also your aperture okay so this one will give you the information about the aperture Okay, the aperture of the camera, not the shutter speed. Um, most of it will be more on the aperture. So this is how you use the light meter to to know the aperture, which one to be used for your camera. Okay.